Good morning, year ones, and welcome to our first online maths lesson. Today, we are going to be learning all about comparing lengths and heights. So on the board here, we have got three different blocks. How could we compare the heights of these three blocks? I've got some words down here that can help us. Remember when we are comparing, we like to use this suffix er on the end. So long becomes longer, short becomes shorter, and tall becomes taller. How could we compare those blocks using any of those words? Perhaps we could say that the yellow block over here is taller than the blue block. Or the blue block is shorter than, we could say, either of them. So these are the different words that we're going to be using today to compare lengths and heights. Our friend Holly here has arranged them in order, starting with the tallest, going all the way down to the shortest. And Holly says we can use tallest or shortest when we are comparing the height of three or more objects. So we've got three more words now added to our list, as well as long and longer, short, shorter, tall and taller. When we have got three or more objects like this, we can say which one is the tallest or the longest or the shortest. Now our words long, longer, short, shorter, tall and taller are used when we are measuring height and length. Both of those things are things that we measure, but they are looking at different things. The height of something is how tall something is and we measure it from bottom to top. And the length of something is how long something is. And we measure it from one end to the other end going across. So if you have a look on the board, we have got a giraffe here who's standing up tall. And we are measuring it going up. And a little worm who isn't really lying down straight, but who would need to be lying down straight. And we can measure it from end to end to find out how long it is. So we have to be careful at using the right words when we're looking at comparing different things. We can say with something's height that it is tall or short. And with length, we say that it is either long or short. Did you notice that we use the word short when we're looking at both height and length? Now we have got two of our friends here, Elliot and Lulu. And Elliot says that he's holding this piece of rope and it is short. And Lulu is holding this piece of rope and she says this rope is long. If we wanted to compare those two ropes, could we do it if they were just holding them like this? Can we really see which rope is longer or how much longer if this one's all wrapped around and they're all bent? Our friend Sam over here says that we can only compare lengths when we use a starting line. Let's have a little look at what Sam means. So on my board here now, I've got my starting line. Here's a green rope that we've stretched out starting from the starting line. Here's an orange rope, a blue rope, and a red rope at the bottom. Using any of these words here, can you try and compare the lengths of any of those ropes? So perhaps we could say the blue rope is longer than the red rope. Or using shorter, I could say the blue rope is shorter than the orange rope. Can you think of any other different ways that we could compare the lengths of those ropes? And what do you notice about the orange rope and the green rope? They both start on our starting line. If we go all the way over to the other end, they are both the same length. So we could say that the orange rope is as long as the green rope, or the green rope is as long as the orange rope. Our friend Sam has done some comparing for us. Let's have a little look. He says that the orange rope is longer than the blue rope. Do we agree with that? If we look over here, we can see the orange goes all the way over there, and the blue rope is definitely shorter. The orange rope is as long as the green rope, and finally, the red rope is shorter than the blue rope. Now, this is your time to do some learning. So I've got a few examples of the different questions that will be in your book for today's activities. So the first questions look like this. And you've got to do a little bit of reading 
to find out what they want you to do. You are circling, putting a ring around the correct answer, but each question is a little bit different. The first one is asking who is taller? So can you put a ring around the character who is taller? The next question is asking us to compare using these words taller, longer or shorter. We've got a building and a house. So the house is mm than the building. Now, if we look at these, we are looking at their height, how tall they are. So we're looking for the words taller or shorter. The house is mm than the building and the building is mm than the house. They've switched it round so we need the opposite words in each of those. And in the next one, you need to draw some things. They're asking you to either draw things that are shorter, longer, or taller. And on this one, you need to draw a shorter fish. So you need to draw a fish that is shorter in length than this one here. So you need to be very, very careful when you are drawing. And finally, you are arranging things, starting with the longest down to the shortest. So we have three objects here that we are comparing. So we can use our suffix ist to compare them. So we start with the longest. So looking from end to end, which one is the longest goes all the way along. I think it might be the spade. So I could cross out spade and write spade in this box here. Then have a look at which one goes next down to the shortest. There's a few questions like that for you to solve. And then if you get onto it, if you whiz through all of that and you'd like a super challenge, we will post these separately. But here's two different questions you can do that show us that you have mastered the skill of comparing shorter, longer or taller. Good luck. We can't wait to see everything you've done. Please post onto Dojo either uh, one of your question fours or one of these super challenges, just so that we know that everyone's managed to find the video and understands what they're doing. Good luck.